All right, guys, for today's game, we're going to be playing Garen in the top lane, and we're going to be going a super brain dead build. Now, there are tons of different builds you can go on Garen, but this one, I guarantee you, is the easiest, and you don't even have to really think about your like how you're influencing, um, like mesh kind of your items and build together. Like, if you went say, like phase rush Garen, and you go like stride breaker, you got to think about your phase rush and stuff being on cooldown uh yada yada and like actually care about cooldowns this build i'm going to show you here with a uh, trendy into hole breaker what that's going to do is kind of eliminate some of the thought process of going for garen and like garen's already pretty brain dead already in terms of like uh you know how he approaches the lane since uh you know i mean look at that trade i pressed one button and walked away right and that was it that was the trade and I traded, what, someone evenly with a, a ribbon level one, which is pretty strong. That's how you do it. So, one thing we'll say about Garen is uh, Garen gets a lot of scaling from just leveling up and from existing. Literally, just getting CS is getting me armor. Getting CS is getting me armor. And uh, I've got really good um short trades really good farming potential with the the spin being able to set cs in her turret and uh you've got your q for an auto reset as well um you get this cannon you get this and so yeah this ribbon is really going to try to build an advantage against me in the early game um but all I'm going to do, I'm going to farm, I'm going to get my bubbles, I'm going to get my two items, and then uh, we have Demolish, we're going to assist live lane, and we're just going to just absolutely wreck people. So if you don't know how to, like, actually, like, team fight and everything, you don't know when to, uh, you know, group or whatever, you go this build, you don't even have to think about that, you just side lane split the entire game, you farm, you get levels, you got items, you're good to go. Hexo Koa, thank you for the sub for four months. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you. So you see what I'm doing this game? All I'm doing is in here. I'm farming. Getting my minions. Missing some too, but. Okay, I mean, my Dyna is right there, so. I'm just going to shift this wave in. Let me just Q on the cannons, make sure I get it. I will not okay, I'm gonna take it back. So, reason we go trendy, by the way, is it gives us a lot of the stats that Garen wants. It gives us a little bit of move speed so we can stick on to people a little bit easier. Um, but also, Trinity Force gives us bonus damage when we're stacking up the Trinity Force against structures. Which will enable us to do a lot more damage on the split against structure. So if this ribbon ever decides to try to like roam uh, or something, we'll be able to just absolutely breach and destroy turrets super fast. Um, I went boots double dagger. You prioritize into going attack speed first. So we're going to be building into berserkers first. Um, reason for that is your spin scales into your attack speed. So, the more attack speed you have, the more spins you're going to do, the more damage your E is going to do. Wait for my spin to come back up. When my cooldowns are down, when my Q and E are, like, I use them to farm or to, to trade with Riven or what have you. Uh, I'm backing up. And you see how, like, I missed out on a couple minions there because my cooldowns were down? Don't walk up without your cooldown thing up. Looks so, like my bot lane's a little bit behind. My mid lane um, looks like he got a trade kill. Okay, Riven left lane. Guess what that means? That means turret plates. That means bonus gold. I'm just gonna spin the whole wave. Mm, I have the flash. 
So let's start ignite and flash on us. Um, so Ribbon went for the kill there. We both burned both sums, but she actually missed a whole wave on her turret. So even though she burned both sums from us, uh, it's actually not super good for her. Just because she ended up missing a lot of minions. Not only of gold, she missed all the experience too. That being said, maybe she can push her play here. But also, uh, I got it back there. So she has, what, like 1,800 golden items? I've got just a little bit more, so I've got a little bit more stats, and so I took my back later than her. The nice thing about Garen's spin, if you didn't know, is it removes your ability to get creep blocked while you're spinning. So say, like, I'm behind this minion, right? I can actually now just spin through the minions. And I'll get creep blocked. Some people don't think about that aspect of Garen too when they're playing them. Um, so even if you're like running away and you don't want to get creep blocked, you can just put down the uh, put down the spin and walk away. Okay, the enemy Zang spot lane. So I'm just gonna shove up top. Full bounce are down, so don't really want to go too crazy. The later this game goes, the better. Um, right now, I'm currently I've currently earned 12 armor out of a total of 30. The more CS I get, the more armor I get, tankier I get. So even though I'm building a little bit of damage here, I'm getting super tanky. So my E is down, so Riven's gonna look for a trade, but I'm just clearing the full wave now. Forge onward. So, I could just sit in this bush. If she walks in the bush and, and warts or something, maybe I can get a little bit of a trade. We're mostly looking to farm until about level 9. Level 9, we get a big spike because it's our last point in spin. So, we're going to max Q next just because Q gives us a little bit um, extra damage. Also, it gives us more move speed duration. For one activate queue that we can try to run away. This world needs hope. Okay, we see Zach going back there. I'm gonna put a ward in the exact same spot. I actually got a pretty good trade on Ribbon just while trying to uh, push the wave. That's good. So we see Zach here going towards middle. I'm gonna send the bush. The bush is the deadliest for Garen. I stand ready. Yeah, and there's nothing crazy I'm doing in this lane, and I'm getting just an extreme amount of farm. You know, even against like an ignite ribbon, that's just pretty uh pretty aggressive, usually. Gonna keep our wards down, keep on shoving, keep on scaling. So we about to level nine off this wave, and then we're really strong. Use Q to secure the cannon. We can even back here if we wanted. My cooldowns are back up, so maybe I can get a little bit of trade on the ribbon. Big focus is on the farm, getting my W scaled up, and that's it. The infamy. I will not falter. Okay, that's her ignite flash. So she got her flash up faster than I did, by the way. Because she has Cosmic Insight from Inspiration. But we have the Ghost to get away, so we're just fine. Also, our Perseverance passive on Garen is really nice. Healing back up, even in a situation like this. So, she was looking for me, see if I was in the bush. I'm not. I'm just back here. But now I have Flash Advantage. She has no Ignite.
and uh, can actually use Flash just to kill her. I mean, she walked that far up without having the cooldowns, because remember, she ulted before, and I didn't. She flashed before, and I didn't. So I gotta use the cooldown advantage against her to get a kill. Just as simple as that. Okay, here, I'm gonna ward there, just in case the Zack is sitting on the wall. And look at this, getting plates. Garen's got to be the most relaxing champion in the game. Just one ability, just insta-clearing waves, farming, scaling. You just naturally do super well um, just by getting levels. Um, really don't have to think a whole lot about all kinds of different mechanics or whatever. You kind of just sit there, you Q, you spin, they go on you, you press W, give you a little bit of uh, shield, the introduction. And I've got my Trinity Force now. Next time I'm going to go is Holebreaker. It's going to give me a ton of armor, a ton of magic resist. Well, give me the ability to just instantly destroy turrets, basically. Because of all the bonus damage we're going to get against turrets. Uh, we got our Trinity Force Mythic. She does not have a Mythic right now. So, we got a pretty good spike in there. If I could have gotten my Q, it could have been a good trade. If you're not comfortable about um, CSing cannons, well, you can always just, um... You can always just use your Q on them. Uh-oh. Well, hey, we got attacks passive. Dang, I, I was about to start proxying the ribbon there. But, uh, Zach was there right then. And that's unfortunate. I should have waited until my jungler was topside at least before I went for that. Not good without the, the vision on, on Zach. Went a little bit too aggressive going for that plate. That's okay. We still beat the, the ribbon pretty hard, 1v1. Just because we're kind of scaled up now. The way Riven kind of uh, beats her opponents is she's able to, like, with one combo of her ultimate, she's able to just um, completely destroy and, and burst down her opponent. Or she is really good at, like, taking short trades and kind of, like, chipping away at her opponent until she can burst them. Garen's got a lot of regen. I've got, uh, I've got D-Shield. I've got my Perseverance passive. Garen has high base regen. And uh, as far as short trades, it's hard for even to get really effective short trades against us too, because our short trades are so good. Alright, we're definitely taking this turret now. And as you can see, we're building up our Trinity Force. Plus 400. Zach was top earlier. Okay, looks like he's still top. I'm gonna walk away. I have ult back, so if Zach ganks again, then uh, I can just kill him this time. Rip. If we had avoided that uh, Q from the Zach, we'd have been in a pretty good spot. But let's go hole. We kind of knew that Zach was topside. Um, because uh, he just took Rift. I played a little bit too aggressive again. Oh, my deaths could be avoided. Oh, but hey, my Zed's kind of... Uh... Dang, he played that super well. Let's go back up. And again, I mean, the only thing I'm really thinking about is just uh, continuously pressuring Tom. Uh, I could rotate mid and cover a mid wave and then go top. This team is about to break down mid. Yeah, I'll cover mid, then go back top. Kind of want to stick to top. Uh, you know, let me get this red buff. Don't mind if I do. And 
and let's go push them top. Let's see, our W, we're at 27. We're almost fully stacked our W. We're getting a ton of free stats. Uh, we've got armor on our runes as well, so we got plenty of resistance versus the uh, the ribbon. And I think our burst is actually better than hers, just because we're tankier. What we do is right. Gonna do this. Alright, so as far as wards, so we're trying to avoid going to the Zack, right? So, best ward to put is like right here. And you can see how I can see a little bit down this way, a little bit down this way, a little bit down this way, and a little bit up. Kind of put it in the middle of those crossroads, lets you see kind of all around. All right, almost a Holebreaker. With Holebreaker, I think we can 1v2. Because Holebreaker gives us a ton of armor. And a ton of MR, too, for the Zac damage. Yeah, and Ribbon's usually a roaming champion, but she's kind of... She kind of has to sit top because of so much turret pressure. She roams. I don't see Zack. Okay, I got my hole breaker. I'm just gonna take it back. Hey, not too bit. Thanks for the Twitch Prime, man. For three months. Appreciate you, dude. Okay, got a hole. So, as far as pink ward, um, pink ward for splitting. Oh, wow, it's X top again. Uh, pink ward can be used, like, right here is a good bush to put it in. You could also put it in here, but oftentimes the enemy jungle will check there just when they go to take blue or whatnot. So, Ribbon's going for a roam. Kind of try to ping him off. Oh, nice. They healed the save. So, that's Riven's flash and ulti. So, since we were watching mid, while well, just, you know, AFK and top, we saw that Riven use flash. So, next time she comes top, we'll just beat her up. By the way, look at this. I have 150 gold bounty. Doing nothing but farming. Which means we're getting that much gold value out of splitting. Look how fast we're breaking down this turret. This turret went down in about five seconds. We're just gonna walk away. If uh, if they really were chasing after us, we could ghost, but don't even need to. So after these two items, you can go with a lot of different options. I personally prefer Black Cleaver, just because Cleaver got buffed a couple patches ago and it gives insane stats for 3,100 gold. On top of adding the extra carve uh, for the extra like armor shred that works alongside your, your spin, which your spin also shreds armor. So you shred a bunch of the armor, can do a lot of damage. I don't know, is she baiting for Zach? Okay. Can get her. But you see, like, we kind of just 1v2 now. Because the Zack goes on us, and he's building, like, full-on tank items, and we can just focus on bursting them ribbon. She had no flash there. We knew that. Uh, because we watched her, like, from mid. She wasted her sums there. So we used the, uh, the flash advantage to kill her. And we are just putting all kinds of pressure on the top side. I actually could have been pushing top turret right now. 
I didn't realize that quest I'm gonna cover. Oh well. Fine. Got they got the dragon in ten seconds. I'm just gonna stick top. Just gonna do my thing, do my brain dead split push. I can't kill Riven. I was thinking maybe I can take a plate in front of her face, but eh, Shojin, a little bit scary. So, a couple options at this point. Could go into uh, a little bit more armor, or can go into damage. I think we just go damage. Just making sure that we can kill Riven within the single Q and spin and ult combo. Really important. Look how high level we are, by the way. Just purely splitting, absorbing all the farm that we can get. Staying topside, we're insanely strong. We can also just start splitting bot side too. Because we already kind of took this inner turret, it's just worth 600 gold. Why'd it go Zerker Greaves? Uh, Garen gains a ton of damage from attack speed. So, Zerkers are really good in Garen for the 35% attack speed, which adds extra spins on his E. Um, let me ward Baron. Might be headed for it. Don't mind Zex here. Um... I'm gonna push mid and then I'm gonna split bot. Maybe kill the uh, Jinx. In the king's name. Oh my gosh. Me and Zed deleted the Jinx. Never forget why we fight. Alright. Uh, we got Cleaver in base, but we're gonna keep going. We've got Ghost Up. Riven probably has her flash up since she had CDR boots and Cosmic Insight from the Inspiration Tree. Um, we're about to level 16. Level 16 adds in a lot of extra burst for us. Because it's actually two damage on our ultimate. Remember, we got a Hullbreaker. So, enemy team should not be leaving us with this turret ever. Because now this is a free 600 gold. Look at that. 550 bonus gold plus the 50 uh, uh, team gold add in. So, now we can go Cleaver and then we can go eh, probably Dimmon's Plate. Dimmon's Plate will help us uh, stick onto the Riven, give us extra armor too. Hey, Drig, no. Hey, thank you for the Twitch Prime for three months. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Our deeds shape the future. Okay. Uh, we need vision here. Um, need vision. We just want to make sure that while I'm splitting bot, that the enemy team isn't just getting barren for free. Be bold. Be just. I 100% can 1v2 both the Riven and the Zack once um, I get my flashback up. It's going to be very hard for Riven to... Uh, oh god, Riven's up there. That's not very good. Well, since Riven's up there, we could just take their bot in him. I mean, this bard does kind of negative damage. But maybe they're rotating towards me. I don't have vision. So my team is killing the Riven top pretty easily. We don't see anybody on the map. So instead of getting baited by the Bard, I think we just, uh... Let's see, he's not clearing my ward. It's good. Alright, enemy team's fighting here. So we see Zack. That's the main concern. Riven's up there too. So we keep splitting, and we keep winning. So, enemy team bot without their bard for the engage, and now we're just, oh yeah, I mean, they're sending bard to cover me. So, how is bard going to clear this minion?
I mean, I can cleave a lot of armor. I'm not gonna greet it. My team's about to get barren. And we need to fight for this dragon, so. Let's see, we can take the red buff. Nice, Jack, the red buff. Probably have to fight here. So what? Oh my god. We actually couldn't kill the Zack. Team fight's going okay. A lot of healing. I'm sitting back here to get my regen back up, so I'm sitting out of combat. Red buff plus my passive is pretty good for that. Damn, I really wanted to get the shutdown on Zack after uh, he stole the dragon. Oh my, look at the damage, by the way. Thing. I was trying to stop his uh, E from going off. We fight for those who cannot. Hmm. I think we just breached this turret right now. We don't even need minions. Heart destruction. Soon all will join me. One more month for three years. Hey, Hope Bombs 86. We are both doing well after her operation. Hey, thank you. Bombs 86, uh, 86 for the Trich Bomb. 35 months. Appreciate you. Thank you. Do um, we can get Mortal Minder, honestly. Mortal Minder is actually a little bit of a meme item on Garen ever since uh, uh, Garen or ever since Mortal Minder got reworked from to requiring a Last Whisper item instead of uh, a Zeal item. Because Garen used to build Mortal Minder every game because of the stats he gave, but now they hardly build it. But this game, they actually have so much healing because of Ocean Soul, and they have a lot of armor. So it actually makes sense. Keep yeah, the change they did to Mortal Minder really hurt Garen, but that's why we're going like a build like this now. So, my team can pressure top. It's going to be really hard for the enemy team to kill me right now. I am I am really fast. And I also deal a lot of damage. So, if they overcommit onto me, I can kill somebody. Look at the shred. He has 111 armor right now. And then after the shred goes away, yeah, 200. An ally has been slain. Ghost out of here. I mean, we're just taking down turrets. Let me see if I can kill this, uh, Teemo. Oh! Wow! Teemo killed him. Is that his wag? With all this move speed, it's really easy to dodge, uh, their, their abilities, too.
we're almost to full items. We just need one more wave for more reminder. We just saw three people entering the uh, the bot jungle. I guess they're they're thinking I'm gonna go steal their red. Which they're probably right. I probably would have if I didn't see them all entering bot jungle. Gosh, oh, I ran two mushrooms. Yeah, let's get out of here. Shoot, I just need one more wave. There's no jungle camps for me to take or anything. I guess I can take this scuttle in a second. Okay, so we got the scuttle crab. We got older spawning soon. Should probably head towards this. At this point, honestly, even with the hole breaker, even if we team fight with hole breaker, we got so many stats because we're full six items. Because we've been splitting the whole game, we got 300 farm in 30 minutes. That we're just gonna be a monster in fights now too, if we want to. Or we're gonna keep doing what we've been doing the whole game and just uh, spell push. A lot of people don't know how to deal with constant split. Also, uh, screw Teemo. <laughs> he said, well played. I don't know. It's, it's brain dead easy to play this channel. Like, I don't I even have joint team fights. I just push waves. And then, like, I don't know. Sometimes uh, 100 health Teemo walks in front of me. This is how much I don't care about that turret. How much damage I'm doing to a freaking Zack? Oh, that's an angry ribbon. Getting a lot of regen. Our ultimate's on such a short cooldown now. We've got red buff, so we're getting red buff regen, plus we're getting our perseverance regen from our passive. And there we go. Plus 50? Aw. GG. Alright, well, there you go. Brain dead easy build to play in a brain dead champion. And uh, you do that, and you'll get a lot of easy wins. Hope you guys learned something.